Hi there, Saber Crypto here. Okay, so if you saw my last Multiverse X video, which was, to be honest, just about an hour ago, um, you'll probably see that I made some ZoidPay eGold liquidity uh, and I put that into the super farm on the ZoidPay staking platform. So basically that will earn ZoidPay. Um, I've kind of changed my mind about that because I think what I might do is something based upon this video, which was from the AMA, where um, Adam here from ZoidPay was uh, asking some questions that were submitted by the ZoidPay community. Now, I've been going through the video, making some notes, and this one caught my eye, especially at 10 minutes and 8 seconds, and it was about Zoidster NFTs. So let's just have a listen to it. What's next for the Zoidsters NFTs? How will they... Uh interact with the super app uh, not only for the zoysters but for all the gamification layers that we're building so the super app will will function totally different than other fintechs in the sense that having so many distributed layers of, uh, of gamification like <coughs> and other elements we can offer uh, in-app access to as i said before different benefits, different tiers of benefits, different uh, perks. features, perks, just to name a few, cashback, discount for certain merchants. Um, as an extra example, if you have the pattern of purchasing, let's say, more electronics with the Swaypay card, we're going to offer you, based on the NFT that you hold, a certain discount or a certain cashback for purchasing at merchants that sell mostly electronics. So it's going to be um, a separate strategy in the sense that uh, two or three people will stay and focus solely on developing uh, benefits and developing utility for the gamification layer. And this gamification layer includes uh, Zoysters, One Life Rally NFTs, and want and other uh, tokens or NFTs that we develop in the future. Cool. So you heard that people don't sell your oysters, don't sell your one life rally, just uh, have a little bit of uh, of uh, patience. Okay. So the important thing for me there was the NFTs, obviously, because I own some oysters. I've got about half a dozen oysters. Um, I've got one one life rally NFT. Uh, I've also got a pile of wand uh, that I'm farming at the moment. Now, I reduced the size of my wand um, farm, that's this one here, um, a while ago when it wasn't displaying the right kind of uh, figures over here. Um, so I've actually now only got like a small amount of um, liquidity provided here. So I think what I want to do is temporarily remove the liquidity or at least some of the liquidity from the super farm here and then put it into the one farm the reason being is i think i can probably get the maximum apy so you need four hundred twenty thousand equivalent of zoid pay stake to get the maximum apy so i've got 415 there and i've got 23 in there so that should do it shouldn't it uh, the only complication is I know in here I've got some of these which are locked for three months, but they're quite small. So I'm going to see what I can withdraw. So I'm going to start with the uh, the big one. And the important thing is I want to check there's no unbonding period or anything like that. I don't think there is because I chose the no locking period. Okay, so maybe see if I can state that now. Looks like it. Okay, well that's that done. So yeah brilliant okay so look my apy now is uh 2250 percent that's obviously earning wand but uh i'll keep a note of this and the time now is eleven thirty-two on the 1st of october so it'd be interesting to see how much wand that actually earns um because that apy is quite silly now the thing is with the wand um it is locked and it says here 99, I don't know what this means, but it says 99.02% can be half claimed 
from the 2nd of February 2024 until the 2nd of February 2024. Really weird sort of message there. Um, so I'm going to try and earn some wand while I can. Now, I don't think this farm's going to last forever, so we'll have to see what it can do. Oh, by the way, the reason I'm getting the uh, the the silly APY is because this Zoyster here is boosting the farm by 50%. Now, it doesn't have to be a premium Zoidster, and it doesn't matter if it's run out for the normal boosting. It, it can still work for this purpose. So if you've got a Zoidster... Uh, you might want to think about doing that, maybe. Not financial advice, of course. But yeah, that's going to be interesting anyway. So, I mean, this one's still got 67.21 LP tokens there. So this is still going to be earning a reasonable amount, but it'd be interesting to see what the wand is. I mean, it's got a value attached to it. So it says at the moment that lot there is worth uh, $41,157. I mean, I don't know if it'd be worth that in the future. It might be worth nothing. I don't know. But uh, either way, because one's going to have utility, um, I want lots of it. Okay, so I'm fairly curious to see how much this is actually earning. So uh, that last part of the video was at 11.33 on Sunday, 1st of October. So then I had 137,191,587 wand, which is worth $41,157. Okay, so I'm going to measure that again at um, what's coming up to what will be 14.33. So that's three hours, isn't it? So I'm going to record the amount of wand and what it's worth in dollars. So that actually works out that wand is valued at 0 0.0003 dollars. Okay, 33. So one, three, seven, two, three, seven, two, eight, seven. And the dollar value is 41.71.18. Okay. Okay, so that means we're actually earning uh, 45,700 wand every three hours. So divide that by uh, three, that's that much per hour. Uh, let's work it out per day. So times that by 24 equals that. And multiply that by 0 0.0003. Okay. $109 a day. Not too bad. I wonder if that's what it'll be worth in the future or even next February. Either way, I think I'm going to keep doing this for a while. Now that sounded a bit too good to me, so I worked it out with the dollar values and uh, yeah, indeed it comes out like 115 bucks a day for that. So yeah, I think that's what we're looking at. Um, the thing is, I mean, I don't want to get sucked into a thing like I did with the uh, LK Max Max type of thing with the old Maillard decks when, you know, I was making all the LK Max and I knew that one day it would unlock. But what happened then was they changed the tokenomics of it and, you know, brought in the energy stuff and the thing devalued loads and, uh, you know, it became terrible really. Now that <clears throat> might happen with Wand. I don't know. But either way, the liquidity I'm providing anyway is uh, E-Gold and Zoid Pay, which I think both have good futures. Uh, whereas, you know, the MEX was a complete unknown, really. And it was the MEX that formed the liquidity pair in the E-Gold, what was E-Gold LK MEX uh, liquidity pair. So I'll keep this running for a month or so, because as far as I can see, this is earning potentially $3,000 a month, isn't it? So that seems quite good. And uh, for those of you wondering about the expense of it, well, this is using the equivalent of... Um, 497,000 Zoid pay. So 497,000, so 497,000 Zoid pay um, at the current price, which is something like 0 0.011, is about five and a half thousand dollars. So that's, you know, what it would cost to put that in place. So you'd need that much in Zoid pay and eGold. And then you'd need a, a Zoidster to get the extra 50% on top. You know, The only thing is, we don't actually know 
the exact utility of wand we know it's going to be the token used in the canary web network which is a bit like a uh, a bit like a test net if you like but more for like developing things um but it, it will have some utility if we look at the zoipay roadmap which i know is due to be updated very shortly you can see what the plans are for wand there so if we look at this 2023 roadmap for zoipay you can see down here in the gamification um, the zoidpay farms did happen earlier in the year the ones development of zoidpay's canary network uh, that kind of happened and then what's supposed to happen in q3 and q4 obviously we're only just in q4 today but um, the wand token sale and governance by shopping pool owner council okay so this is probably not going to happen just yet uh, the second NFT collection launch. Um, I guess that's on its way. I mean, this stuff might happen in Q4, but I would expect it to probably happen next year sometime, hopefully uh, in Q1 next year, 2024. So I think it's going to be worthwhile to farm some wand. So that's what I'm doing. You might think I'm mad and you're welcome to say so. If you want to do that, do it in the comments down below. Uh, while you're down there, please give the video a like, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you've got notifications set on all. Um, do give the video a like while you're down there, whether you like it or not. In fact, if you don't like it, just click dislike twice. And above all, tell your friends.